Well, this is a medical breakthrough right here in Boston with far-reaching implications. Tonight, it's helping a young boy see better. It is the first time an FDA-approved gene therapy has been used to fight an inherited disease. And after groundbreaking surgery at Mass Eye and Ear, both patient and doctor are beaming with hope. This is just the beginning. I'm the first one. There's going to be more. 13 year old Jack Hogan from New Jersey has had serious vision problems his whole life. I have trouble seeing at night, so probably around like 6 o'clock I'll go inside and I can't see like outside at all. He also has no peripheral vision. It'll be on the left side. But yesterday at Mass Eye and Ear in Boston, Jack was the first person outside of clinical trials to receive gene therapy that's been 20 years in the making. The goal was to replace a gene that Jack is missing. This gene therapy was developed to take the synthetic copy of the RP65 gene and put it uh, into the retina. And in doing that, the hope is to stop the progress of Jack's rare vision loss and actually improve his sight. The delicate surgery involves taking the synthetic gene, which is placed into a virus, and putting it underneath Jack's retina. We put teeny little ports into the white part of the eye through a tiny little cannula the tip of which is the size of a human hair, we inject these three drops of liquid. This drug can really be a miracle for a lot of these patients. For Jack, success could mean not being left behind. My classmates were like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. And I didn't see any of it, so it just got me really upset. I just hope that he's included now in things and he's able to have fun and enjoy life like the rest of the regular 13-year-olds. It's remarkable. Jack had surgery on his left eye yesterday. The right eye is scheduled for next week. He should know in about a month if it's working. The price tag is the problem. For this, it is $850,000. Wow. Insurance is paying for Jack's treatment, obviously. That's going to be a problem down the line. But as the technology improves, right. it'll get cheaper and cheaper. And I, we always say this, but it's true every time. We're so lucky to be in Boston where all of this technology is happening right before us. Absolutely. And with the injuries on the Celtics, we could use Jack. So, <laughs> we could. you know, once both eyes are functioning really <laughs> Really well, Jeff. We might have a spot for you. <laughs> I'm going to be back here for the news at six o'clock. Here's Paula with a look at.